coffee by myself and I actually had to split it with my mom because I got some new pods. I wanted to try the new, uh, well it's not new, but the Golden Caramel Virtuo pod and it literally made like a full, full cup of coffee and I don't drink that much coffee. Like I would just sip it for like three days at that point. So I had to split it with my mom. So I got her a cup as well. So I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this um, golden caramel pods. I did obviously pick up my Bianco Piccolo, which is like the perfect cappuccino size. It's kind of like a size of a double espresso. So when you add milk to it, it gives you that perfect coffee. Um, I also bought this um, Alto Honest on ice. I don't know. For both mom and Jack, it's a nice big cup of coffee. They're both they're both coffee drinkers. And then I picked up this double espresso scuro for I guess it was kind of Jack and I. We both love our double espressos and espressos. So I picked this one up. It's just like the dark brown color. And yeah, I picked up some new pods this time around. I wanted to get creative, but good old me. I like what I like. I'm gonna stick with the Bianco Piccolo. Hmm. The caramel one is really good. But anyways, today's very exciting because it is August. Can you believe that? I don't know where July went. I don't know where the summer is going. It's scary because as a Canadian, August means we are just around the corner from the depressive winter. And I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it yet. I'm really not. Fall, I could get with because I love fall. I'm a fall girl, but I'm really not ready for winter. I've actually started picking up a couple fall pieces. And the reason that I'm doing it so early is because I'm actually going away. So I wanted to be able to come back and have some pieces that I can wear and have when I get back home. Got my cup of coffee. Let's go look at some new bits for fall, early fall, late summer. Here's your coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. So I got a few pieces from different places, but I'm gonna bring in the rack to show you everything. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my rack. It's crazy, but like, it's August, but even I can now feel the weather like changing. I think it's been like the past couple nights, it's gone down to like 12, 13 degrees, which is quite chilly considering we've been having like 30 degree days here in Toronto. So, sorry, I said that funny. 30 degree days here in Toronto. Um, so anyways, I picked up few new pieces both that are going to function as transitional pieces for when I get back. A lot of these I will also be taking with me on my trip. I got some new pieces which are definitely going to be on the warmer side and then some pieces that I'm bringing back because obviously I don't just want to be a one-time wear and so I like bringing things out again and kind of reimagining them in new ways. So the first few pieces I picked up are actually from Lily Silk and if you've never heard of Lily Silk they're a personal favorite brand of mine. They're a brand I turn to time and time again, especially as we head into fall and winter. Because Lily Silk is a brand that focuses on silk and other materials such as cashmere, which are two of my favorite fabrics. So I always turn to them. They're a brand that I trust with my silk and cashmere. So I picked up a few pieces for my travels as well. Some pieces that are gonna be perfect for that transitional time from summer to fall and fall as well. <laughs> but anyways, before I show you, I do wanna let you guys know that I have a discount code Code, so I will leave that on the screen somewhere for you guys as well as in the description box Everything that I chat about I will link down for you guys below as well as my sizes because I know you guys find that really helpful And I do too. Honestly, I find sizes so helpful. But anyways, let's get into it The first thing I picked up is a beautiful silk shirt. I have been really into navy I feel like I've just rediscovered navy recently, but this is a beautiful kind of oversized silk shirt. It's just got a very like relaxed silhouette, which again, in the summer months, you just want things to be flowy and relaxed. And this shirt is absolutely perfect. I got this one in a size small. And when I picked it up, I immediately had to pick up the skirt that didn't necessarily go with it, but I thought would be the perfect pairing. This is yet again, a silk pleated skirt. You guys know, I love my pleated skirts, but Come on, you can't tell me that this is not going to be the most beautiful combination ever. I think it's stunning. So, pick this one up. And this one's kind of funky because it's a little bit asymmetric, whereby 
the ends are not quite even and I kind of really like that just to get up a little bit closer so you can see it's just got a simple elasticated band which that to me is the most comfortable most of my pleated skirts that I've owned over the years have been elasticated and that's what I like <laughs> just a little bit of eating and drinking room I like to say but um, again I just think that is going to make the most beautiful combination and of course both of these items can be paired on their own or together my favorite thing is when you have outfits that you don't have to think about this is one of them <laughs> I've got on the lily silk shirt and skirt and I absolutely love them they feel so so wonderful and I just I love how they look. And then for accessories, I actually had a little bit of fun with the accessories and I went with two accessories that had a little bit more texture to them. I think when you've got fabrics like silk, it's so fun to really play off of the finishes. So to kind of contrast the smoothness of the silk, I went with a raffia clutch and some heels that have like a linen feel to them. So I thought that was a fun way to make the outfit really, really um, summery, but still classy. So. What do we think? Now, you guys know my love of midi skirts. So I want to show you guys another way to style this skirt because um, it's one of those pieces that you can just get so, so much wear out of. So let's do it. I've got a classic Sam out right here, but it's a tried and true for me. I've got my skirt, simple tank top, and a matching blazer. You could obviously do this in black as well if you want to contrast the blue, but I really like the feel of like a monochromatic look. I've also got my Lady Dior into some black pumps. You can very easily make this into a city look by adding sneakers. And there you go. A super simple switch of the shoes makes such a difference. If you're someone like me who needs to be on the go, but you still want to feel really beautiful and put together, simply by adding a classic pair of white sneakers makes the world of a difference. And I don't have my crossbody strap on, but if I were to be going out and about and in an outfit like this, I would add my crossbody strap, have my bag around me, and I'm ready to tackle the world. But yeah, I absolutely love it. <laughs> The next item I picked up is a pair of beautiful silk wide leg trousers in the most beautiful, like rich chocolate brown color. Just look at that color. The waistband is finished beautiful. Every little attention to detail is just gorgeous. I unfortunately did pick these up in a size four and they're too big. I am gonna try them on and show you what they look like on, but. I have ordered my correct size. I'm just really sad about it because I want to wear these already just for like a white shirt, a white tank top. They're just going to be gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I had to get a size two instead because these are quite large on me. But um, yeah, anyways, that's the next piece. And again, even with the blue, such a beautiful color combination. I just wanted items that were going to be really, really easy to wear and I didn't have to think too much about them. And I did go for colors that were gonna be, again, a bit more transitional, so those warmer, kind of darker colors, uh, but are still good for summer. <laughs> and I will be taking these with me to Spain because it's supposed to be so, so hot. And for me, silk and linen are gonna be the two fabrics that I'm gonna be wearing nonstop whilst I'm there. Here we have a kind of cable knit cashmere sweater. Let me bring you in so you can see. Got a beautiful kind of cable knit um, detail to it. This is actually 100% cashmere. It's got a beautiful um, crew neck detail and some beautiful cuffs on there as well. Now I was wanting to add something like this to my wardrobe because most of my cashmere pieces up until this point are not textured. So for days where I was wearing something very simple on the bottom, um, I wanted to be able to bring in a little bit of texture and feel um, on the top half. So for example, something I envisioned is something like this where I could have something really silky and smooth on the bottom but have lots of warmth and texture on the top. So um, I have so many outfits ideas. I'm so excited to try all this stuff on. I don't know if you can tell my excitement. And like I mentioned, cashmere is my favorite fabric. So this sweater will without a doubt be coming with me to Spain because again, cashmere is that type of fabric that is very comfortable to wear even when it starts to get a little bit warmer, but it's gonna keep you super, super warm when you're chilly. So cashmere, it's the end all be all. <laughs> and here we have the gorgeous silk trousers. Bear in mind, they are a size, maybe even two sizes, way too big on me. So obviously they'll be fitting a little bit better once I get the proper size. But the way I've styled them is with a really simple tank, again, keeping the silk theme, a nice little belt, 
some slides and a little Shaftbury bag. I feel like this is gonna be an outfit that I will 100% wear in Spain. It's super, super breezy and comfortable, but I feel like it still looks so elegant and classy. So yeah, I really, really love this. Oh my God. Oh, these trousers are the dream. Now let me show you them styled a slightly different way and maybe catered to more chillier weather. For this outfit, I actually paired this with my new Lily Silk cashmere sweater. I just love all the detail all over it and it definitely creates a really nice contrast with the silk, which I absolutely love. Gone with some more darker accessories. So I've gone with my Lady Dior handbag, a bigger black belt and some black suede pumps. Again, keeping with that like cozy material and I absolutely love it. So so gorgeous. I feel like silk pants are such a fantastic way to make something look so elegant. The fun thing about silk is that it's kind of appropriate to wear all year round because it's also something that you can wear during the holidays and it looks super, super special. So let me know what you guys think of this one. <laughs> Next thing I picked up is a pair of, again, wide leg trousers, but these are actually 100% wool, which again, fantastic for the cooler months for fall and winter. Um, and I just really, really liked the kind of pattern on these. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a beautiful plaid. They are pleated and my favorite part, which is something that I have been kind of dabbling a little bit more in is elasticated waistbands. I know, you're probably like, Sam, what is wrong with you? But these actually have an elasticated waistband in the back. Um, and I just think for days where I just, I don't wanna be restricted, maybe I'm bloated or something like that, I wanted to have an option of something that looked very, very crisp and clean and tailored, but had a little bit of comfort. So, so I'm really excited to try these on. The other a detail I really like about these is that there's a beautiful cuff at the bottom. Now I've yet to try these on, so I'm curious to see how they will fall on me, but they just look gorgeous. Now I've got on the wool trousers, and these have to be some of the most fantastic trousers ever. First of all, let me chat about the length. So I am very picky when it comes to the length of my pants. I either like my pants to go straight to the floor or a good two inches above my ankle. Very rarely will you see me in pants this length, but I absolutely love these. I'm not sure if it's the wideness of them, the taper of them, perhaps it's the pleats, whatever it is, something is working and I absolutely love this length. I can even wear them with sneakers, which I'll show you in a second, but I've just paired them with a very simple silk shirt. This is one of my favorites from Lily Silk as well. I've had this one for a couple of years now. I will link it down below. It's one of my favorite styles from them. I've got a little brown bag, brown belt to go with it, and I've got some kind of semi-clear pumps, which I think are a little bit more fun and playful since they're not a like solid color. I really love these trousers and they fit like a dream. So, so lovely. And because they're elasticated in the back, they fit really, really comfortably. So what do you guys think? I couldn't speak more highly of these trousers. They are fantastic. Now, let me show you a totally different way to style these trousers. For this outfit, this is an absolute favorite of mine, but I've just got a simple white shirt, black belt, black bag, my white sneakers, and I feel like this is sort of a uniform for me. Trousers, white shirt, white sneakers, and a comfortable bag that can be turned into a crossbody, and I'm all set to tackle the day. I also have to make a point at how perfect these pants fit on me. The length is perfect to wear with sneakers. Like, look how perfect that is. For my short girls, these are the trousers. And I think if you're taller, these might become more of a cropped trouser on you. But again, because of the cuff, I think they're going to look fantastic. I love that I can take these from super dressy to super casual in seconds. Now, before I show you the rest of my stuff, I do have a new little PJ set. Now, I would say, is it all my PJ sets? Yeah, all of my silk PJ sets actually are from Lily Silk. I really love their silk, um, especially their pajamas because it's washable silk. Um, what that means is that you can wash it in the washing machine, which for PJs makes my life super, super easy because I obviously wear them a lot more. So I treated myself to this set right here, which is actually very different to all my other PJ sets. My other silk PJ sets are very structured, a little bit more fitted, and I wanted something that was gonna be slouchy and oversized and comfy. So I went with this navy set. It's got the silk shirt, 
um, with the matching like long wide leg trousers and again you've got a super comfy elasticated waistband like I said I wanted it to be super flowy super comfy honestly I'm kind of like counting down the hours so I can just like get into this and live my best life sit on the couch grab a cup of tea read my book and put my PJs on. <laughs> Don't forget that I do have a discount code for you guys to use. I'll leave it on the screen again for you guys. Um, so make sure you utilize that and save a little bit on your order. And of course, as usual, I will link everything in the description box for you guys alongside my sizes. So anyways, let's move on to the rest of the rack. We have a beautiful little suit from Holland Cooper, which I've sort of shown you, but I was waiting to show it to you in full properly when we got closer to the fall. So first piece is going to be this beautiful blazer in this like camel color now this is gonna be a hundred percent wool I really felt like I was missing something in this color in my wardrobe something that was gonna keep me warm but was still gonna be light so when I wasn't ready to transition fully into those darker fall and winter colors I still had something that was a little bit light um, which I really really loved and so to go with the blazer I actually got the matching shorts, which you guys have already seen me wear, uh, but these are the matching shorts. Again, 100% wool and something like this paired with like tights or boots. Still going to be that perfect transitional piece because it's not going to be too, too warm or too, too hot. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> and as usual with Holland Cooper, I got both of these in a size UK8. Um, but, oh, I just, I love it. How cute is that? I just, I love this set. It's so beautiful. And of course, the quality with Holland Cooper is always immaculate. So I'm actually making a point to bring back out my gorgeous Veronica Beard suit. This like gorgeous, warm, like auburn orange color. It's so beautiful. So I am bringing this suit out again, hoping to get some wear out of it in the fall and especially in that transitional phase. I also love the fact that the fabric looks like a linen, which again, I think it's just gonna be that perfect like fall color, but still incorporating those kind of summer fabrics, which although it's not linen, but it looks like linen. All right, now we have the Holland Cooper suit. So we've got the blazer and the shorts in size UK8, and then I've just paired it with my, um, this is a silk tank from Banana Republic. It's such a staple. It's been so loved in my wardrobe this summer. And then I've gone with my Dior saddlebag and my Axel Arigato sneakers. Just a great everyday outfit for me. Obviously by swapping out the shoes for heels and the bag for no crossbody strap, you can turn this into a more like evening outfit um, or even potentially work depending on your dress code. But I really, really love it. And a little tiny detail, which is almost so insignificant, but to me it's not. Holland Cooper often has beautiful button details on their shorts and jackets and specifically for the pants and shorts. Because they're so beautiful, you can oftentimes get away without wearing a belt, which some days it's just nice to not have to think about so many accessories. You don't have to worry about what belt and what shoes and bags. So just being able to put your shorts on, your blazer on, just pick your shoes and bag and you're good to go. Feels kind of nice. It's just such a tiny detail, but it's one that I particularly really like about Holland Cooper. Here we have the Veronica Beard jacket, which I wanted to bring back and style in a new way. So when I wore this, I actually wore it as a suit, but this time around, I wanted to style each piece individually. So I've gone super, super casual, something that I can wear every single day. So I've paired it with a very simple Holland Cooper top underneath. I've got my trusty pair of Zara jeans. I got these, oh my God, like two and a half, two and a half years ago. I don't want to say three years ago, but I think like two and a half years ago, and they might still be available, which is shocking for Zara. Um, and then of course I've got my, Axel Regados and my new Demelier bag. I think it's such a great way to wear this blazer in a very casual way, but still look and feel very, very put together. But yeah, okay. What do you guys think? Yes or no? Also, I do not want to make any promises here. I'm not making promises, but this blazer might be on sale right now, so I would highly recommend checking it out because it is truly, truly beautiful. So yeah, anyways, let me show you the pants now. Typically, I like to be prim and proper, but ever so often, I like to be a little loose and relaxed all across the board. And this is one of those outfits. This outfit gives me the row vibes, like Mary Kate and Ashley, and I kind of love it. But these are the matching trousers to the Veronica Beard suit. 
um, and they are just the dream. I have had them hemmed to my height, and I will say, for my tall ladies, apparently these pants are extra, extra long and are fantastic for tall girls. So it's just something one of the girls told me, so if there are any of you ladies out there who are tall and have the opposite problem of me, I would highly recommend Veronica Beard and these trousers because I heard that they fit fantastic on tall girls. So anyways, I have paired these pants with my um, Lily Silk new shirt. What do we think? It's still fantastic. I love it. And then I've gone with my navy demelier bag and I've actually gone for brown heels because I wanted to kind of give the outfit a very like elongated look. My natural instinct was to go for like navy heels, but that would have definitely cut my height and it would have been very evident where my pant ends and my shoes start. So that's a good little trick for you if you want an elongating effect, match your shoes to your trousers. I love how careless but yet elegant this outfit looks and feels. So yeah, okay. What do we think of this one? So there you go. That is a little sneak peek into my first kind of transitional fall items. I'm actually, I am starting to get excited for fall because I love fall. I think it's so cozy and so homey, but um, yeah, I'm also really excited to take some of these onto um, to Spain with me, but yeah. You know what? I jinxed myself this morning because I'm just going to sit down so I can chat with you guys. I so jinxed myself this morning because when I was getting ready, I was like, oh my God, so cold like I need a jacket like my apartment has been the perfect temperature like these past few days and I was I was sitting here talking to you guys <laughs> about everything I was literally like I had like a sweaty upper lip I was so hot um, I'm cool now though I've grounded I'm at room temperature yet again but um, yeah anyways I am getting really really excited for Spain it is creeping up it is coming up so soon so that's why I've started to like literally just get as many things as possible and my priority right now I'm not gonna buy a whole lot of stuff before my trip because the shopping in Spain is so fantastic and I'm gonna bring a couple of dresses from Alame and, and Reformation that are all gonna be linen so I'm really focusing on just some really nice fabrics that are gonna keep me cool as a cucumber <laughs> But anyways, that's what I've been focusing on. So I'm gonna start, I don't know if it'll be in this vlog, maybe it'll be in this vlog, oh, I should start doing that, is starting to set aside what items I wanna bring with me. So without a doubt, you know, my pajamas are coming with me, this set is coming with me, these pants are coming with me. This sweater is a potential because cashmere is so great where it doesn't make you overheat. Obviously a lot of my sweaters are like wool, which are great for winter, but I cannot even dare to use them. In warmer weather like they just get so itchy so uncomfortable because they're, they're made for cold temperatures right so I think this could be a good sweater to bring with me um, even if it's just something to kind of have around my shoulders anyways I'm gonna put this rock in my other room in the office and get on with my day I have lots to do so well, I have all done work for the day and I have a workout class at 6 30 so I was gonna get ready with you but I want to show you what I'm wearing because these pieces are fantastic especially if you have bigger girls so I'm wearing the airlift set from Allo Yoga this so these are the airlift pants and then my favorite favorite bra I literally every time they come up with a new color I get this bra because it's so good but this is the I think it's called the airlift intrigue sports bra and I just, I'm just wearing the black one today, but it looks like this. And then the back, it's got like a super cute little like cutout. If any of you girlies who are doing like Pilates, yoga, you know, have bigger boobs like me, this is actually so supportive. I can do downward dog, I can do handstands, and I do not have to like adjust throughout my classes, which is amazing. So that's why I wanted to show you this because it's so good. So that's the Air Lifting Tree bra. The pants are great. I just, I like that they're a matching set. And then I'm also gonna wear this super cute little like mesh tank. It's kind of hard to tell what it looks like on. I'll put it on and show you, but um, it's just a cute little mesh kind of long sleeve. Um, I thought it's a nice little cover up. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna wear over top to walk to the gym. It is, it is quite hot today, but I'm just gonna go run to the bathroom quickly and wash off my makeup. I think I'm just gonna put on like a little tinted sunscreen. I've been really loving this one from, next to go to the gym because my face is obviously a lot paler than the rest of my body because i wear sunscreen every day um so this is a nude screen daily mineral veil um spf 30 and it gives a really beautiful tint but i'm gonna go wash my face and i'll show you what this looks like on and show you how i do my makeup for the gym yes i do like to wear just like a little bit of makeup to the gym not a whole lot but just enough where i don't look like i just rolled up out of bed so <laughs> i'm gonna go wash my face put my gym clothes on and then we can do our little skincare 
gym makeup together. Let's do it. I unfortunately ran out of time and don't have time to take off the makeup and do it again because I was doing work and I got caught up and I ran out of time. But I am gonna quickly show you uh, my outfit. Um, and I am bringing my little, I don't know if you can see there, I have like a, a jean jacket from Reformation that I'm just gonna bring in case it gets a little bit chilly later on. So this is my aloe yoga set. I absolutely love it. Let me bring you in close. So as you can see, this is kind of like a see-through mesh and it's so, so pretty. Um, you can kind of just see the outline of the bra underneath it. And then these are the leggings. They're definitely a bit more compression than say like a lot of the Lululemon tights, like the Aligns, which again, for yoga and actually moving, I really, really enjoy. Um, and they're such a great length. These are the seven, eight lengths and they sit perfectly on me. I'm gonna get my bag together, get some water, and then I'm gonna head out the door. So I've done a thing. Hello, it's a new day. Yesterday I visited Chelsea and we completely gave my hair a refresh. We made it nice and dark, which I think last I did this was either in the fall or winter. I went super short and super dark and it felt so good. I just, I remember mentioning to you guys that I just wanted the like healthiness and shine back into my hair. I didn't want it to be dull, which I found when I had really blonde hair with my balayage. So I've been slowly kind of stepping away from my balayage, but now I'm torn as to what to do because right now I do have balayage in my hair. It's probably from about here down. It's a little bit hard to see. Sometimes when I move around my hair, depending on the lighting, you can see where the balayage is. Um, but essentially from probably about here to here, it's all my natural hair uh, or my natural hair color. And then I do have some balayage down here, which you can see. So the nice thing about balayage is that it gives some really, really nice dimension when you curl your hair or even get like a blowout or something. Um, obviously that dimension and kind of texture will be a little bit less so when you have one solid color. It'll still look beautiful, of course, but you're not gonna get that texture here. You can see it's a perfect example can see how there's just some subtle like kind of lighter tones in my hair which just really like I think accentuate the curls <laughs> and so right now I'm torn between letting all the balayage grow out and just going for a full natural hair color like a solid color or kind of redoing my balayage in a super super subtle way where I'm gonna have some really light color throughout my hair really subtle nothing noticeable but it's still gonna give that beautiful texture kind of like you see here that's where I'm at right now I'm really torn because I love the darkness but you definitely lose that like dimension when you have less balayage that's where I'm at right now. I don't know what I should do. I obviously, I don't have to decide right now. I just wanted to get my hair up refreshed before our trip, but um, that's kind of the decision I have to make for next time. And yeah, I don't know what to do. Let me know if you guys have any input. Um, it is now the end of the day and I'm very excited because I get to get into jammies, read a book, light a candle, and it's just sometimes the best days where you just like, you know, the best feeling is sometimes when the day ends and you can just unwind and relax. And I'm very excited. Let's go get into jammies and start unwinding for the evening. Just got into these Lily Silk PJs um, and they are the absolute dream. So comfortable, I have to show them to you. Um, I also need to take my makeup off because it has been on my face for way too long. I wish you guys could feel how I feel right now. These. PJs are just the most comfortable. So these are actually the Lily Silk PJs um, that I showed you guys earlier on in the video. And I just got them in the navy. I actually have another set from Lily Silk also in the navy. I just think navy is so beautiful. I've been kind of into navy blue recently. Got the elasticated pajama pants and then a super, super oversized silk shirt, which if you're buying this set, I will say the quality of this shirt um, is one that you could wear as a shirt and no one would know. <laughs> but yeah, these are my PJs and oh my God, they are the dream. How luxurious. I feel like for like Christmas morning, special occasion, they also have so many great colors. Um, I'll leave my discount code in the description box for you guys because I do have a little code that you guys can save a little on Lily Silk. Um, but yeah, oh, they're Anyways, let's go light a candle, let's go grab my book, and let's go relax for the evening. <laughs> 